Zach with EC Master. Today we're gonna to show you how to install an air temp sensor. So we got our package WHP air temp sensor kit today. So we've got a weld fitting, the temperature sensor itself, connector, terminals, seals, and the lock for the back of the connector. So we're gonna get all this unpackaged and show you how to crimp it, wire it, install it, and get ready to go. Okay, so we've got our materials for installation here. I've grabbed some wire. This is a 20 gauge TXL wire, um, nothing exotic here. We've got two conductors because the air temp sensor has two terminals on it. So air temp sensors are thermistors. That means it's a resistor that changes resistance with temperature. That's how you measure the difference in temperature. Um, these are important for map-based ECUs because you need to know the density of the air to calculate how much fuel to give it, right? You need to know how much air is coming in. We measure that with pressure and temperature. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna strip the ends of our two pieces of wire. I'm gonna start with the sensor side first and then move over to the ECU side. I'm just gonna strip a few millimeters of wire here. After I've done that, slide our seals over it. I like to line up the end of the seal with the end of the insulation. And these, if you don't have good strippers, you may have to grab the ends of the conductor and straighten out the loose strands before you shove the seal over it. So you see I've got the wire seals installed. So these, these are actually gonna seal up in the back of the connector to keep moisture from getting in the back side of it. So once I've done that, it's now time to crimp the terminals on. So the terminals come on a strip. I already cut the two terminals off. I flush cut them with the back of the terminal just to make it nice and tidy. Before I crimp it, I'm gonna lay it in here and make sure the length is correct. So make sure when, the, when it's crimped, I've got enough conductor showing to go into that crimp properly. So I just line it up preemptively. These are just very generic crimpers. I know from experience that they fit in about the smallest size here. And, and again, these are very inexpensive. You can get these for about $20, $25 for a set. They do a pretty respectable job of crimping these. You wanna see that terminal roll over and crimp into the wire. So if you're looking at it, it, it the fingers of the, the terminal come over the top. Same with the wire seal, except a much larger die for that one. And you want that to snug up the seal portion, but not protrude too much. So now we do the second terminal, same deal. Stick it in, line up the conductor. And we're done with that portion. And every time you crimp a wire, give it a nice pull test. Make sure that it's not gonna get pulled off in regular use. All right, once you've crimped them, there's a locating tang on the bottom and that's gonna go on the bottom of the connector. So you just insert it. So you hear it click and you're done. Polarity does not matter. With resistors, it doesn't matter which way they go. And since the thermistor is, is essentially just a resistor, you can't get the polarity wrong. That's really important to remember. So it does not matter which way you go. Once you got the terminals inserted, there's a secondary lock on the front. Click that down. On the back, this is a, another lock. So I like to index that with the wires first and push it forward and secure it. That way the terminal's secured on the front. Seals are secured on the back. It's nice and weatherproof. And you can double check and make sure everything goes in nicely. Insert it in your temperature sensor and you're all set. All done there. Um, you know, before you're going to install it, this is a weld fitting. It only goes one way. So I've had people weld it on the wrong way before and it absolutely will not thread in because these are tapered threads. It's pipe threads. So make sure when you're welding that onto your intercooler piping or intake, you get it the correct way because you'll be in real trouble. It absolutely will not go on the other way. Um, so make sure that's correct when you do that. And you want this between your, if you're turbocharged or supercharged, you want it, you know, as close to the engine as possible. So after the intercooler, if you have one, um, you know, before or after the throttle doesn't really matter, but somewhere that's not going to get a ton of heat soak, but represents the air temperature as close to what's going to the engine. So on the other side, we're going to do the ECU terminals. And again, polarity does not matter, so it doesn't matter which one goes where. But for this sensor, one goes to sensor ground, the other one goes to the temperature input. So I've got two ECU terminals here that we're gonna crimp on. And these don't have a seal. The, on these connectors, 
The seal is actually built into the connector. Never remove this, by the way. You're gonna insert the terminals through the back side and puncture the seal, and then it'll seal back around the wire once you go through. But do make sure you remove the lock. These locks can go in halfway, which allows you to still insert terminals. Once you click them down all the way, you can't insert or remove terminals. You'd have to remove the lock again, which is very easy. There's a, la a locating tab on each side. You can pop it out. But first, we're gonna put terminals on it. So again, use my crimpers here, make sure I've got enough conductor exposed. Step up to the next size on this crimper for the crimp around the insulation. So the crimp around the insulation is important because it's just strain relief. So as the wire gets pulled one way or the other, this portion of the crimp is just to keep the wire located. So you don't want to go too hard on that one. You want it to grab the insulation but not pierce it. This one is the critical one because that's the actual conductor. Both those look good. We'll pull test them once I do this one. Grab that, pull it, pull it. So now that we're, it's time to wire it up, we're gonna look at our pinout card. We have three terminals for sensor ground. They're all bust inside the ECU, meaning they're connected internally. Uh, we give you more terminals just for ease of installation. So you've got pins 29, 38, and 39. Pins 38 and 39, if you look at this diagram here, they're the larger two terminals. Um, I've got a smaller size terminal, so I'm actually gonna go to pin 29 just because it's the right size. And it doesn't matter if you have to splice multiple sensors to one sensor ground pin, they're all going to the same place. So you can have splices in your harness, there's nothing wrong with grouping all the sensor grounds together. Uh, but I'm gonna go to pin 29. So to mock it up, put my connector on here. I'm just gonna put the latch on about halfway. And I'm gonna reference my diagram here and find pin 29, which is sensor ground. So I know that this bottom, if we look at the pin out here, always use the diagram as a reference. Map sensor port, USB, black connector. Look over here, that's pin one, that's 13, that's 14, that's 26. 27 is down here, so 27, 28, 29. Take that terminal. And sometimes it helps to lubricate these. You can use some isopropyl alcohol. And that just goes in and clicks right in. Super, super simple. The other side is gonna go to the IAT terminal which as I look down my pinout card here, that's pin 32. So that's 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Insert that in and we're done. Those are the two terminals for our air temp sensor. We crimped both sides and we're good to go.